My name is Tosif Dean. I'm the CEO at the MP Shah Hospital. We are a leading private healthcare facility and we are signatory to the United Nations Global Compact since November 2021. Gender equality to me means empowering people. It means hiring people with the right ability, with the right skills, with the right qualifications and experience. It means providing equal opportunities and resources to everyone irrespective of their gender. My grandmother has been one of the instrumental women in our family life and she really steered our family through tough economic times. So I personally really look up to her. Um, as we grow into adulthood, of course there are other high achievers, Margaret Thatcher, Indira Gandhi, Mother Teresa and our very own Wangari Mathai who continue to inspire us daily. 64% of our workforce are women, 83% of our senior management team are women, 84% of our nurses are women, 51% of our heads of departments are women, and 100% of our nurse managers are women. Our aim here at the hospital is to ensure that women are climbing the senior leadership ladder where they are empowered and they are making decisions for the future of our Kenyan population. In June 2021, we launched our strategy for five years and it has been launched on five main pillars. Highly engaged patient-centric teams, exceptional stakeholder experience, financial sustainability, operational excellence and sustainable growth. The MP Shah Hospital continues to empower women in many ways and recently we have formulated many policies, for example, the diversity, equity and inclusivity policy, the whistleblowers policy, sexual harassment policy and workplace violence policy. Through our sustainable growth pillar, we are also supporting the sustainable development goals, goal number three on good health and well-being, and goal number eight, which talks about decent work and economic growth. We recently also launched the employee support group that supports all our employees, particularly on mental health issues, which we are now aware that there is no health without mental health. In 2018, the MP Shah Hospital initiated the Green 365 policy and of course in November 2021 we signed up with the United Nations Global Compact to be able to pledge to the 10 principles and start reporting on sustainability. Women's role in the society, in the culture, has always been looked at caregivers, at doing many other things and the society has conditioned us in such a way that these are roles for women and these are roles for men. As a woman, we are mothers, we are daughters, we are workers. Sometimes one of the big challenges that we face are work-life balance challenges. Another challenge that I personally feel that, yes, you do want to hire women in all different fields, even in the healthcare sector, but we often feel that there are not many women in the STEM industry, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Sustainability is often looked at only the three P's, people, profit and planet, but I think it goes deeper about hiring the right people with the right skill set, with the right skill mix and hiring the right person for the right job. One of the first things that I really want to do for the future of our hospital is to have green building designs across the hospital. Uh, we refer to them as biophilic designs and I feel that by creating green environments in the hospital, that can create a very healing environment for our patients. At the hospital, I want to introduce mandatory sustainability reporting. And one of the most important things that I really look forward to the future of this hospital is to increase environmental literacy in our orientation and induction programs when employees join the MP Shah Hospital. I would really challenge um, the industry to have more collaborative programs in terms of training and education in the STEM fields for women, coming together as collaborations, organizing networking events where women have more platforms to be able to speak about gender-related issues, 
about gender pay inequalities, about gender discrimination. And I would want more women to mentor men 